can step out Yes, I'm in now Cut your edge out To some ice broke your afternoon everybody we are starting today's video by thanking sojo's vision for sponsoring the video today i got four selections the cases came with a cleaner and then this is a little cover to keep your glasses in make sure to use my code janae dsj sojo's vision is the top one sellers women's sunglasses on amazon one thing about it and two things for sure y'all know i love a pair of sunglasses and i was in love with all the pics so enjoy the rest of the video let me know which one you like the best and of course everything will be linked in the description for you guys a midweek video today we're gonna do a updated q a so let's get into it i am i have a few uh videos and stuff to get done today and some work to do so i'm going to just do like a little get ready with me makeup wise i already like did my hair obviously and put my outfit on which i am wearing let me show y'all <laughs> latest basics of course outfit of the day this is the basic tank these are the basic shorts and I have a medium short on and then I have a small tank top on okay first question would you see yourself moving to another state if so where not as of now I plan to stay in Miami for as long as possible I can see myself living long term out here for years. I can see myself like retiring out here. Honestly, I've never lived by the beach and now that I live by water, I'm just so happy and it's so relaxing and it's such a vibe and it's just amazing. Top three things you learned in your 20s. Ooh, that's a good question. Number one, don't ignore red flags. Number two, stop making so many excuses for people. Three, um, stop thinking people are going to be the same type of friend you are to them, the same type of partner they are to you. Stop expecting people to like do good by you because you're, you do good by them. And don't be so naive. That ties into what I just said. Like, Don't expect people to, you know, be the type of person that you are. If you do right by people, good things will always happen to you. Someone said, hey, beautiful queen. <laughs> Tell us your weight loss secrets. Honestly, y'all, like, I don't have any weight loss secrets. When I lost, like, a little bit of weight, I probably maybe lost, like, two or three pounds. And that's because I was stressed. I was going through a lot. I was moving with a one-year-old. It was just, I had a lot going on at that point, And I wasn't really eating because I didn't have time. I was just doing too much and that is why that happened so i unfortunately don't have any tips what is your favorite perfume um right now i'll put it on the screen i don't it's i don't know how to say it but it's like a really clean perfume it's like it's the ou i perfume are you hesitant about relationships in the future absolutely 
absolutely I am. Do you have relaxer on your hair? Yes, I do use relaxer here and there. Um, when my hair is longer, I don't tend to do it, but my hair is short right now, so I haven't done it in a while, but my hair is short and it looks horrible curly because I have no kind of layers or anything and it's a super blunt cut. So yes, I have used that. It's easier for my hair so I don't have to put so much heat on it um, so it can grow back, which is going to answer another question because one of y'all asked me if I'm going to keep my bob or grow it out and I am definitely growing it out because I am over it. I'm absolutely over it. So I'm definitely growing it out. How do you remain positive despite everything you've been through? At this point, you know, that's the, only, that's the best thing that I can do and that's the only thing that I can do because especially when you have kids, I feel like there's no point in, you know, dwelling on something that you can't control. And as long as, you know, you feel like you've done all that you can do as a person and, you know, you're living like you're being true to yourself, what else can you do besides be happy and stay positive, you know? There's no point in like being miserable or dwelling on a situation that is in the past or something that didn't work out or, you know, something that didn't go your way. Especially because it's just like at this point, God has better plans for me and there's no point in being upset or dwelling on something when God has something better in store for me. So mainly, that is the best thing to look forward to. Doors close, new doors open, and they're usually always a blessing. How are you liking Miami so far? Wishing healing and peace and love. Thank you, I love that and I appreciate that so much. And I love Miami, y'all. Like, I wish I moved out here sooner. It is just, honestly, it feels like it's, how are you how can you be sad out here like you take a walk or you go outside and you see the water it's so beautiful the um weather out here is amazing it's just a blessing like i thank god every single day that i was able to move out here with priest and live my life and i'm so blessed and i'm so happy and i would not want it any other way how was dating in Atlanta? I lived there for three years before the pandemic. It was so bad, lol. Yeah, it's horrible. It's absolutely horrible. It's very ghetto. I would not recommend it. I would not wish that on my worst enemy. It's horrible. It's a nightmare. An absolute nightmare. But at this point, it's kind of just like, is it just Atlanta or is it everywhere? Because everybody says that about where they live. So, I think it's just jokes everywhere, y'all. I don't know. All we can do is pray. All we can do is pray. What is your weight, if you don't mind sharing with your subscribers for size purposes? I, honestly, I don't remember. I'm like one, almost 130 or 126 or something of that sort. I don't remember, but I'm around that. But I am 5'6", so that's not really much for me. How did you meet your best friend Nisi? She seems so supportive and nice. My best friend, she is absolutely amazing. She has been there for me for the most insane times and she has been the one person that I can call if I need anything and I know I can always depend on her. So she is such a blessing to me and I met her when I worked, when I first moved to Atlanta, I got a job at this place called Hyde and we both worked there and we just clicked and we have been friends ever since. So we've been friends for probably three years now, which is so crazy. It's been that long, but yeah, that's how we met. Thank God. How do you make friends in Miami? Is it easy, hard, scary? Y'all, I don't know. I haven't made friends here yet, so. Um, I'm not sure I need to get out a little bit more and like go to dinners and go to like networking events and stuff to meet some people um, So I don't know. I'm not I don't know. It is a little scary because it's like, you know You never know people's intentions and just trying to get to know new people 
you never know like you know what kind of person they are um so that is the scary part about it but i'm definitely open to meeting new people and you know meeting new friends like i'm so open to that so we'll see how that goes whenever i do start to meet new friends i will definitely let you guys know how it goes but the people out here seem really nice so i don't think it will be a problem are you currently dating how do you get over fear of vlogging how'd you learn to cook okay three questions in one okay so i'm not currently dating um i'm currently just focusing on myself my son just making sure we are in the best place possible and i'm very happy i'm so happy and content right now and i do not want to ruin that i'm no and no rush to date i'm not the doors aren't closed so i'm open to it but i am not in a rush i'm not like looking if that makes sense um and as of fear of vlogging it was very awkward for me at first. I've been wanting to start my YouTube for years and years and years, but I was always so embarrassed. And I was like, what are people going to think? Like, are they going to make fun of me? You know, like the people I know, like, I was just so embarrassed. And then, you know, I'm like super shy. I'm very private. And it was really hard for me at first, but I had to force myself. And the more that I vlogged, the more I got used to it and the more that I would interact with you guys, the more comfortable I felt because like, you know, I was relating to people and I was like, oh, okay, like, you know, things that I've experienced are things that I have went through. Some of you guys have went through and experienced and you can give me advice on things. And it, I just, you know, I just became more comfortable with it. The more that you do it and force yourself to get out of your comfort zone, the more it's going to become like second nature um how did i learn how to cook my family can cook so my mom has always been like a big cook my nana my family has always cooked so i learned how to cook from them what bra do you wear under your tops i wear the bralettes from skims or i wear the demi bra from skims your upbringing in arizona how is it why'd you move did you go to college things like that um arizona i grew up in Phoenix, I went to a predominantly white school. Um, we grew up with, with our cousins. My mom was a single mom. And yeah, I lived in Arizona most of my life and I had to leave because there wasn't a way for me to, I plateaued there, like there wasn't any room for me to grow there and do what I wanted to do so I had to move and I wanted to experience life like I feel like everyone should move out of their hometown it makes you you know uncomfortable it makes you like forces you to like grow up a little and level up in life so I think that's really important to like move out of your home hometown and experience new things and get out of your comfort zone as of college I did try that I, I was gonna go to college to be a PA which is a phys uh, physician's assistant and then I went to school to be a medical assistant and I worked in the medical field for quite some time, but it's just like really exhausting. They don't get paid enough. And that's just something that I was not able to, I didn't want to continue, it was exhausting. And it wasn't fulfilling to me after a while. And then I try to go to school. I'm really good with like technology, computers and stuff. So I was going to go to school for um tech but honestly y'all i just decided school is not for me like i would get passionate about something and then it would just fizzle away and i'm just like i don't know if i really want to do this or i'm trying to force myself to do this because people are talking me into doing it you know so i school is just not for me personally and i don't regret not finishing school because it just wasn't for me not a question but can you start adding links or names of the clothing you, that you wear yes i'm trying to um, get better at doing that i think i have i feel like i have gotten better at doing that y'all but wait one of y'all told me to spray my makeup after i do it before i put my powder on i guess so let me do that what are the best video editing software you use for youtube y'all i use the free imovie that is it. I don't really do too much editing to my videos. I just cut. Um, I didn't want to overwhelm myself because, 
you know, I'm trying to work on my aesthetic and everything. I'm still working on bettering my quality and my YouTube and everything. So I use iMovie. I keep it simple. I do want to try Final Cut. I do want to try that. Um, so one of these days I will download that. I'm not in a rush because iMovie is works just fine for me but i do have like some flaws in imovie like you can't do as much in imovie obviously so i'm at a point where i want to start like working on my editing so i am going to look into final cut pro soon but imovie if you're a basic youtuber imovie works just fine it's amazing i still use it to this day every single day you do not need Final Cut Pro. You do not need it. And I feel like I'm at a place where I want to focus more on editing. Editing, I don't think is that important. It's something that you want to do as a um, content creator, yes, but you do not need to have amazing, perfect editing. Like it's not something you have to do. Because people will always be like, well, I'm gonna start my YouTube, but I don't know how to edit. Girl, watch a basic editing video on YouTube. That's what I did. It is so easy. You watch like a 15, 20 minute video, so easy, the easiest thing. The more you do it, the better you get. But the first time editing, it's easy. Like don't let that be an excuse of why you're not starting your YouTube. Do you read comments? Um, yes, I do. I love, like on YouTube, I definitely read comments. I love to see you guys' feedback. I love you guys' support. And you guys are so sweet and you always have the nicest things to say. So I definitely read comments. And I tried to reply a lot of the time. Sometimes I forget, like I'll see a comment and be like, oh, I, you know, and reply in my head. But y'all know I do a lot. So sometimes I forget, God, you know, God forgive me. But I try to comment and reply back to you guys. What's some advice for new vloggers trying to grow on YouTube? Main advice and my only advice is going to be stay consistent. That is the best thing that you can do. If you're not consistent, your channel will not grow and that's just point blank period. It will not grow. And you have to stay consistent. It is hard because you have to stay consistent even when you have one viewer, okay? Post once a week, every single week. Pick a day that you wanna post. It doesn't have to be Sunday, whatever, but day works best for you, post. And make sure you're posting every single week. It is really rough at times. Like there have been times where I've wanted to quit and be like, oh my gosh, my videos aren't doing well. Like this is embarrassing. Like what is the point? Like, but your videos, I promise you, like things will change if you stay consistent and work on your content. I promise you it will grow that is just the formula of it um and that's just what it is don't make excuses don't be like oh my content isn't going to be good enough like i don't live in as in a aesthetic place like people aren't going to watch my content trust me there are going to be people that relate to you it doesn't have to be you think youtubers that just started were living in wherever they're living at now no like you have to start from the bottom and that is completely fine. People aren't going to judge you on that. They're going to judge you on, you know, who you are as a person. They're not going to judge you on where you live or any of that sort. So anyways, don't make excuses. Just do it. Be consistent and you will grow. That's the only thing that you can do. Also, you don't need to have a camera. You can vlog on your iPhone. So a lot of people make excuses. I tell my um, best friends daughter all the time to start her youtube because she does hair and i'm like do your youtube and she makes all kinds of i've heard of so many excuses i've made these excuses myself like oh i don't have a camera i don't know how to edit these are all excuses vlog on your iphone until you you know save enough money to get a camera there's nothing wrong with that if i if my camera's dead or i don't have my camera i guess what i'm doing i'm vlogging on my phone get a light for your phone and vlog on your phone gonna be great there's just so many things just make it happen and be consistent and that's you know all you can do how do you manage work and get a lot done while having priest i need tips 
Girl, I don't know. I don't know how I do it, but I make it work. Um, I think you just have to really stay organized. And um, when I wake up now, I try to do the most important thing to me because I used to wake up clean, do all of these things before I would do my work. And then by the time it was time for me to do my work, I'm tired. I don't want to. I want to, you know, relax for a little bit. And then I end up pushing everything for the next day. So I've really been prioritizing doing the most important things that I need to do right when I get up. And I'm not really a morning person, y'all, so I try not to force myself to be a morning person. But I do want to start waking up early so I can get more things done. But I'm the type of person I can get more stuff done at night. But for my content, I like getting content during the day because the lighting is better. So I'm working on that. But yeah, I just have to juggle it the best that I can. Some days are harder than others. You know nobody's perfect but it's just become second nature to me at this point the more you do something the more um, natural it becomes but I try to set up myself on the weekends like I'll do a reset on the weekends I'll try to do as much as I can so I'm setting myself up for success during the week how do you stay consistent with uploads every Sunday with a toddler Guys, I have forced myself to vlog everything, so at this point, it has become, like I said, it's become second nature to me now. It is hard, um, it's not hard editing because if I do edit a little bit every day or a little bit every other day, it's not overwhelming, but it's just become second nature to me now to pick up my camera and vlog. It does become a lot sometimes, but... The more you do it, the more you'll get used to it and it just becomes normal and a part of your everyday life. What are your top three makeup must-haves? Um, lip stain, one. A gloss, a good gloss. And a pair of lashes. And if I could add fourth, a pair of lashes. I would alternate a pair of lashes and brow gel. You'd be great at selling high-end real estate. Have you ever thought about it? Honestly, I get really passionate about real estate. Like, when I watch, like, real estate shows and stuff, I, like, it's just something that, like, ignites something in me. Um, I went to school for real estate. I just never took my test. So, it's a possibility, but it's not something that I would act on right now. I really want to get my business together and focus on that. Maybe one of these days, but I could definitely see myself doing that as well. What are your future goals? Honestly, I just want to build my business as as much as possible. I'm really focusing on that. I'm focusing on just my brand as a whole. I'm focusing on myself, my YouTube, my brand as Janae, and then I'm focusing on Layers Basics as well. And I really want to build that so much this year. So that that's really my goals. And staying consistent, that is my biggest goal, staying consistent on all of my platforms because I manage myself and I promote myself. So that is my main thing. No question, I just wanted to send you and Priest my love and support. Thanks, girl, love that. That's so sweet, so sweet. Advice, suggestions on being organized. Um, make a list, make lists. Get, um, if you have an iPad, you can make um, lists on your iPad that you check, you know, before you go to sleep, add things before you go to sleep, check it in the morning, or you can get like a little um, thing for your fridge that you write stuff on your fridge, or you could just simply write it in a organizer or a notepad or anything that you have. The more organized you are, like the better you're going to feel and like the more you're going to want to get work done and be productive. So... I hope that helps. <laughs> For all the moms out there, can you talk about your co-parenting journey? Um, yeah, I don't have a co-parenting journey and I'm just talking about this because I know a lot of people can really relate to what I'm going through and um, I want to be transparent about this because like I said, there's people that are going through what I'm going through and things are by no means perfect for me at all i have zero contact with my son's father zero i have gone no contact with him and i do every single thing myself i have zero help 
Um, he doesn't give me any money. He doesn't give me a dime. He does not help in any way at all. Um, I'm sure when he sees this, he's going to go to Instagram and play victim and do what he does best. But like I said, I'm not doing this to be messy. I am just being transparent because it may look like things are easy for me. And by the grace of God, he, you know, blesses me every single day and he provides for me and my son. But I have zero help, y'all. So I am doing all of this by myself. Um, this is what I feel like is the best for me and my son. I feel safe at the end of the day, and that is all I can ask for. I thank God every night that I, you know, feel safe and I'm happy and I'm at peace. But yeah, it's not easy. I have zero help. So I am the main person in my son's life. I don't have a co-parenting um, journey, so maybe in the future, maybe in the future we'll see how things play out and if this person gets the help that they need to get so they can be in their son's life. Um, but other than that, I'm not going to speak about it anymore, but I do like to answer questions. Um, that help other single moms or because I know a lot of people watch my vlogs and they're like oh you make it look so easy like she probably has help she's probably not paying her bills she's probably not doing this no y'all I'm doing everything myself I pay all of my bills myself I do it all like I have to work and provide for me and my son so it is not easy I pray every single day when I wake up, when I go to sleep throughout the day. And, you know, I'm blessed that God has been providing for us and making this a smooth transition. So, you know, all we can do is pray. How does the sizing run for Layers Basics? Is it true to size? Okay, so it is true to size. Okay, so Layers Basics is true to size. The tops are true to size. The leggings are pretty true to size, but you can go up in leggings if you like your leggings not so tight. I like my leggings tight, so I um, usually wear small. I'll alternate though from a medium to a small, but I usually go for the small. The shorts you need to size up depending on if you're a hippie or you have a big butt. My best friend has a bigger butt than me, and G likes a small. I, but she's shorter than me, so she's 5'3", I'm 5'6". If you're taller, I would personally size up and that's just me, my um, preference. If you have my body type and you're a little taller, size up to a medium. If not, you're okay with a small um, or, you know, your true size. Favorite lip combo right now, y'all know I love this lip stain in Hazel. And where's my... This is my lip gloss of the month. It is in April. Boxum, y'all know I'm obsessed with this Boxum gloss. To stay consistent with the baby as a full-time content creator, y'all, it, it can be challenging at times. Like, you know, a lot of times when I'm trying to work or do content for stuff, Priest, that's the time Priest will act a fool and I kind of just have to like navigate through that. Like I have to cater to him and then shoot my content like all at the same time but I've been trying to shoot a lot of my content when he's taking a nap when he's taking a nap I will I will do everything that I have to do for content while he's taking a nap or I will put on a little show for him in the same room or in the next room and have him do that or I'll have my friends help me as well how do you feel about your move to Miami a blessing I'm so happy I love it so much it was the best decision that I've made you're so consistent and have an amazing work ethic which I admire how do you manage thank you so much honestly I think I got my work ethic from my mom I want so much more for my life and I'm just so motivated to get to that point I feel like I have like set goals and I know where I want to be I just force myself guys even if I don't want to I force myself because I know what kind of future that I want for me and my son so I force myself even when I don't feel like it, I force it and yeah, hard work pays off and hard work will always pay off. Remember that consistency and hard work will always pay off and sometimes you have to remind yourself that to like help you keep going. 
how's my internet nephew doing he's great y'all he's growing up so fast he's amazing he makes me laugh so much he has the funniest little personality and he's my biggest blessing i love him so much <laughs> what has helped you stay positive and focus on your journey as a single mom <sighs> first and foremost my relationship with god i pray a lot i talk to god a lot i really try to like put that in everything that i do i think overall i'm just a positive person i work on myself a lot and that's really what it is you have to work on yourself every single day to be the person that you want to be and i just don't think that it is beneficial to be negative or to dwell on things that have happened or what could have been or anything because i believe everything happens for a reason and you know god's plan and it's just healthier to stay positive i would rather be happy and positive than negative and miserable that will get you nowhere i would just prefer to be happy that is really it so it's easier for me to stay positive and have a positive mindset than to not i just i can't it's exhausting like worrying and everything like that they say you shouldn't worry if you believe in god or if you have a relationship in god it's like a sin to worry because that means that you don't have faith in god i feel like you know i pray and i talk to god a lot but i also do like morning affirmations that really help me stay positive and motivated and just like little things like that like i say i work on myself and that's how i work on myself like doing positive affirmations saying them to myself writing them down just really trying to rewire my brain to be positive instead of negative like if i have a negative thought i'll try to cut that out and say something positive um so yeah and don't speak negativity either don't be like oh i'm so unhappy or oh i'm so i'm horrible or i'm dumb like you cannot speak things like that you have to be like i'm smart i'm beautiful i am you know the richest woman in the world even if you're not I am happy, I'm healthy, like you have to speak good. What's your background and then what's your ethnicity? I feel like that's the same thing. Um, my mom is Portuguese and Irish and my dad is Native American and black girl. So yeah, I'm a little bit of this, I'm a little bit of that. Do you want any more tattoos? Absolutely not. I did not even, like I didn't ever want to get a tattoo. I never wanted to tattoo my body um so yeah no i will not be getting any more tattoos how has priest been what are some good meals for kids his age group um that is a great question because i'm still figuring this out but priest is amazing thank god thank you he is amazing for meals and stuff for breakfast i switch it up that is my favorite meal time i like to do pancakes sometimes french toast um he loves yogurt so i'll do yogurt with mixed berries he loves fruit um if i am having a lazy day i'll give him like one of those little fruit bars and a side of fruit like a side of strawberries blueberries or whatever fruit that i have for our lunch he loves pasta so he eats pasta all the time rice he'll eat rice a lot he's getting into chicken but there's a lot of options there's so many options so i try to um i'll try to go on tiktok here and there and like find little recipes for like one-year-olds and stuff they have so much stuff on there how have you been feeling mentally i am feeling great mentally i am finally you know at a place where i'm just so content and happy and i am i feel the best that i have felt in the last two years so i feel really amazing and just i feel like i can like conquer the world at this point like that's how i'm feeling not a question, but I just want to say your journey and consistency is so inspiring. Thank you. I really do hope that I help some of you guys like get over that YouTube like or just not even YouTube, maybe just like content like that, like scared feeling to do content because I felt exactly that way. And I just hope it inspires you guys to like let that go and just create your content. How to know when to give up on a relationship when it is not 
you need to give up on a relationship when it is not aligning with your goals or it's not aligning with who you are as a person if it is like getting you out of your character or it's not making you feel good or it's making you confused in any type of way you should get out of that relationship um especially if it's not working out like a relationship will never work out if it's something that you're not supposed to be in so that is mainly that you know, we all we all know when we need to get out of a relationship. We just make so many excuses, especially for that person. And we think that one day it's going to work out or, and that person's going to change. But ultimately, you have to do what you want to do and what is right for you and what makes you happy. If it's not making you happy, point blank period, you need to leave the relationship. Some of us learn that the hard way. Um, and it's just a learning lesson. You learn from every relationship that you have. So all relationships are not bad. So you learn from relationships and a lot of times you grow from relationships. So it's not all bad and it's not all a waste of time. So, and it's your time you're wasting, girl. I feel like that's the most important thing. A lot of you guys asked if I see myself here long term and like if I would were to live anywhere else. I see myself here long term. I think the good thing about Florida is, you know, you there's so many places out here. Like if I didn't want to move or live in Miami anymore, I can lo um, move to Orlando or I can move to Tampa or, you know, there's so many other places. So I definitely see myself living out here long term. And if I did have to move somewhere else, like maybe like Dallas or somewhere in Texas, I think the houses out there are beautiful and I think it is so pretty and clean out there. So if I had to move, but I'm definitely, I don't want to. Where are you with your weight gain journey? Honestly, y'all, I had to stop because I moved and I had a lot of, um, I had a lot going on, but I'm trying to get back to it. I've been, you know, cooking more and trying to eat more and trying to eat meals. So I'm not too worried about it right now because I'm just worried about, you know, just more important things. But I do want to gain weight still. Someone said, how single life are you ready to mingle? <laughs> I am open to mingling, like I said, but I'm not focused on that right now. I don't know if I really have too much time right now to do that. Do I want more kids? As of now, absolutely not. Um, I don't know, maybe like... And someone said, um, asked me if I want to get married, which this ties into this. I do want to get married. I would love to get married. I think that is so beautiful and amazing, and I would love that. Um, so, you know, when I get married, if my husband really wants more kids, and I feel like, you know, when you're in love and you are married, you do want to have kids with that person. So we'll see. We will see, you know, what God has in store for me. If, you know, I'm meant to have another kid, I will. Um, right now, do I want to have a kid, another kid? Not at this moment, but who knows what will happen in the future. Advice for clearing up ingrown hair bumps in bikini area. You look great in bikinis. Thank you. Um, you're supposed to shave down on your bikini area, and I know you can get some oils to help with that. I don't know why I heard, I don't know if this is a thing, but I heard if you put deodorant on after you shave, it helps with your razor bumps. I don't know how accurate that is though, but I would look into the oils and stuff like that. My last name is pronounced Doherty. How are you navigating motherhood? Y'all, I feel like once you have a kid, it, you know, it comes naturally to you. But you just have to stay patient as hard as that can be sometimes and you need help. Like if your friends can help you here and there, if you know, hire a nanny or if your kid is in daycare, like you need to have time for yourself, which is super important. I am with priests all day, every single day, but I still make time to do things that make me happy and I spend a little bit of time every single day, not every day, but well, every single day, whether I'm putting makeup on or not, I spend time to get myself together so I can feel good throughout that day. I think that's really important to not let yourself go and still take care of yourself and do things that make you happy every single day. Because if not, you will go crazy and you will lose it.
Do you have a Pinterest? I do have a Pinterest. It's just under my name. Would you ever move to LA? Absolutely never. I lived there for a summer like years ago and I would never move back there. It's just not my vibe. It's really dirty. There's so many homeless people. It's just not my vibe at all. I would never move back there. Can I send some candles to your P.O. box? Yes, once I get a P.O. box, you can definitely send some candles. Um, you can email my email and just tell me that you want to send some um, candles to my P.O. box. How are you liking Miami compared to Atlanta? It's like a... Uh, it's not even comparable, y'all. It's not comparable. Like Atlanta, I just grew... Outgrew Atlanta and... I would not go back and I don't regret moving. I don't miss Atlanta, not for one second. Moving here was the best decision I made. And like I said, I literally thank God every single day that I live out here. Would you ever visit South Africa for a holiday? I'd love to meet you, you're such a gem. I'm also a single mom. Yes, a single moms have to unite, you know? But yes, I always said that I wanted to go to Africa for my 30th birthday. So, I don't know, we'll see. I definitely want to go out there though. I think, you know, it's beautiful and I would love to go out there. I was supposed to go to Africa actually for this YouTube trip, but I didn't have my passport, so I was not able to make the trip and I found out my passport, or my passport was expired. If y'all have followed me for a while, y'all know this. And I wasn't able to go, so I was really upset about it because I was really excited to go. How are you finding being a single, being single and also being a single mom? Um, I mean, this kind of ties into everything that I've been saying. You know, at first, throughout the years, I was like, I do not want to have a kid unless it's, you know, in a one household family. Like, I do not want to just be, you know, a baby mama or whatever the case is. Like, that was always like kind of like my worst nightmare. But I feel like sometimes you have to, no matter if you knew someone, had a kid with someone you knew for five years or whether you barely knew the person, like if things aren't gonna work out, they're not gonna work out, point blank period, no matter how long you've been with that person. So you just have to accept things, you know, I, know that i tried everything that i could and i put my best foot forward and that's it so now i'm a single mom and life goes on and i'm gonna continue to try to give me and my son the best life that we can have so that's it i'm happy and that's all that matters and he's happy and that is literally all that matters you have to be happy as a mom in order to take care of your kids the best that you can and I have a peace of mind at night I feel safe I have a sense of safety that's all I can ask for I'm blessed we we are blessed one day we will build a new family and that is it favorite makeup products right now I yeah I really did like Morphe's brow gel I'll probably purchase that again I really enjoyed that and I love hourglasses concealer what else do I like? I love the lip tint. That's like my favorite thing of all time right now. And the, like the faux freckles, I love that. How did you have the courage to leave? Girl, at one point you just get sick of tired of being sick and tired. For the longest time I was scared. I didn't think I was gonna be able to do it on my own. Um, but you just get sick and tired of being sick and tired and not happy and being mistreated um, to keep it real and to keep things real raw and you leave when you're ready to leave and you leave when you decide that you deserve better and yeah so that's really just it it's hard but once you realize that you deserve better and you want to choose yourself that's really all it is because people can tell you what you want to hear or people people can tell you everything and, and anything that you need to hear but you're not going to accept that or like really let that sink in until you want to so it just takes like a real moment of you being real with yourself how's your business doing my business is doing great i'm so like i can't say i am so blessed enough y'all like i am so blessed to you know have sales and everything with a new business and not having promoted that much 
I'm so happy and I just want to take my business to the moon and I am really focused on getting that going this year and really getting my content to be amazing and just really doing it big this year so it's doing good it could do better but I've been as y'all know I've been going through a lot so things have gotten a little put off not important things but me promoting my business and really doing pictures and videos and like perfecting my website just making tweaks on things like that and just perfecting things have gotten pushed to the side a little bit but i'm finally in a place where i can start focusing on that and perfecting things and making things pretty like my labels and little things like that my packaging and just focusing more on every aspect so i was really focused on just getting things started getting things running putting things out for you guys now i'm focused on perfecting things and growing things so i'm really excited and i'm thrilled like i think things are gonna do amazing this year and i'm i could not be happier about it what gravitated you to move to miami so i have thought about it for a while i love visiting miami the weather is amazing it's great vibes it's just like endless opportunity out here i feel like um i've seen so many people move out here and do great um my best friend ended up moving out here last year so when you know i it was time for me to like really evaluate what i wanted to do with life and if i wanted to stay in atlanta or not i had no support in atlanta i didn't have any friends out there anymore like my best friend left so it was just time for me to move and just start fresh and start a new chapter in my life and you know grow it here so that's what we did and i'm so happy how to build the courage to move to another state honestly you just have to do it i know you have negative thoughts in your head like oh my gosh like i'm not gonna know anybody um you know there's so many excuses which is exciting you're moving to a new state you don't know anybody you get to meet new people you get to make new friends new opportunities you get out of your comfort zone they say when you get out of your comfort zone it gives you so much room to grow and excel so moving to another state every single time i have moved to another state it has been the biggest blessing and it takes me out of my comfort zone and it just helps me grow so much more as a person everything gets figured out you know just pray on it and if it's meant to be everything will get figured out and it will be smooth look into where you want to live at the apartments once you find the apartment everything else is easy you get your apartment finding a job is easy these days apply to jobs it's so much easier than you think you could sell your furniture if you have furniture start fresh get new furniture it's so much easier than people make it seem to be or you know especially your family they're going to be like well are you sure you want to do this i heard this is not this like just do your research and you're going to be fine do you see yourself staying in miami forever the city looks so good on you thank you and forever i would love to stay here forever i really would besides waist training how do you maintain your figure i honestly it's genetics my mom's body she's still slim like it's just genetics i've always had a small waist like i've always had like a little bit of a figure and i don't have to do too much but waist training definitely helps a lot i swear by waist training and I'm getting older so yes i need to start working out to tone my body because especially after having a kid y'all it's hard but yes i have to start working out to maintain my body because i'm really out of shape advice on making money without a man i have always been a hard worker so when i was younger i always had like two or three jobs i've always been a hard worker you have to find out what you want to do and what makes you happy and just go for that and be consistent in that thing that makes you happy because if you're not consistent it's going to feel like a job and it's going to be horrible and you're going to be miserable and you're not going to want to do it so you just really have to find what makes you happy and pursue that advice to give single mothers um 
you know, I feel like I said it, um, just you have to do things every single day that make you happy and that's just as little as doing your hair to feel put together, putting on a cute outfit, even if you're not doing anything or going anywhere. Do your makeup, put on a cute outfit, put on some jewelry, do your hair. If, you know, going and getting a coffee every single day instead of making one at home makes you happy, do that. Go get your nails done. Like, you know, those TikToks that are like, go get your nails done, girl. This is a sign. You will get the money back do that that's it that is important like even if you don't have no one to show your nails to you have nowhere to go go get your nails done go get your toes done do it you need to feel good do things for you you need to do things for you and i cannot stress that enough um that's the main thing that is the main thing right there what age did i move from arizona i think i was 26 the second time when I moved to Atlanta and then when I moved to LA, I want to say I was like 23. Who are your top three YouTubers you love watching? So I've never been a huge YouTube person. Like I just never was introduced to it when I was younger. No one I knew watched YouTube. So it was never a thing for me. Um, but now obviously that I do YouTube, you have to, you know, just like content on TikTok, you have to like see what is going on on tiktok you have to see what people are doing how their videos are how are they editing their videos like what is like what are people doing that people love so much you have to do your homework basically so i will definitely watch youtube and see what the girls are doing see what you know editing techniques people are doing see what i personally need to work on in my own vlogs or what i like and what i don't like um you know, just really see what's going on on YouTube and just do my doing my homework. Um, so I personally like, I enjoy watching, there's a girl named Fatima Ba, I really enjoy watching her videos. It, she just re resonates, let me try that again, she just resonates with me. I don't know if I'm saying that right, don't come for me if I'm not. Um... I just personally really connect with her content, I really like her content, it's just me personally i like it i like to watch content um with creators that have kids because i can relate i'm a single mom i am a first time mom so i like to watch mckenna i think her name is mckenna i want to say her last name is walker but i'm not sure but she's a mom so she um you know does a lot of things that i do she's a, a stay-at-home mom she cleans cooks her content is similar to mine and I really love that so I'll watch her stuff too and I actually enjoy watching it. I'll try to watch just a lot of different people's stuff to see what people are doing with their content and just to inspire me to do different things or get out of my comfort zone, get out the box, spice up my content, stuff like that. But if you guys have um, creators, send them to me. I would love to check them out and see what's going on and I would love that absolutely love that so send me who you guys watch or who you guys enjoy watching and I would love that oh y'all yeah, I really do I like watching Kira from time to time too because she has great editing and I like to see her angles and it like inspires me to um go up a notch on my editing and I know Kira's older like me. I think she just turned 30 and I'm 29. I turned 29 in August. So this August I'll turn 30. How do you stay focused and driven? It's hard out here and a lot of distractions. I admire you. There is a lot of distractions. Honestly, you just have to make sure like the people around you are kind of in line with you because if you are surrounding yourself with people that are like drinking and partying and I mean there's nothing wrong with drinking but like if you're surrounding yourself by people that are going out a lot and partying and you know have nothing to lose and don't have any goals or have no goal sets then that's going to be really hard and challenging for you. You have to surround yourself by people you um, aspire to be like or people that have the same kind of mindset as you. For instance my best friend she doesn't drink which it would be fine if she did drink, but she does not drink. That is just a personal thing. She does not drink. She takes her... She's Muslim, so she takes that seriously and practices that um, and prays all the time and is really into that. And she is focused on her business and growing as much as she can, which I am also very similar to that. I have stopped drinking. We don't go 
out we do things that you know are going to benefit us and our quality of life so we like to go to dinner we have things that we have in common that we like to do and we have goals that we have in common we want to grow our brands we want to grow ourselves personally mentally physically all of those aspects so you need to surround yourself by people that have similar goals as you and you have to be disciplined you can have friends that go out of course you can have friends that drink that like to have a good time of course there's nothing wrong with that but you have to be disciplined you have to learn how to say no you if you have work to do i used to struggle with this when i you know had things to do i had uh vlogs to edit i had a uh, promo to do and i would you know not do that and go out or go to dinner or go to an event that i knew i should have said no to and i would just go anyway and i would always regret it because i wouldn't get work done like for instance i used to work and do content for lounge and i wasn't putting the quality effort not even just that brand there were other brands and i had a management i wasn't putting effort into it i wasn't posting on time i wasn't doing the content i needed to do and i ended up not continuing to work with them because i was not putting the effort and i was not putting 100 percent because i was distracted so you have to say no to things if you have things to do you have to say no those things will always be there so you have to learn how to say no and get your stuff done on time and you need to stop procrastinating so you just have to hold yourself accountable get organized create lists like i said it has been so beneficial for me to get the most important thing done on my list as soon as i wake up so it's done and over with the rest of the day i can continue to do what i need to do but that main thing is done and i'm not going to keep pushing it off and pushing it off so if i have a video to film i'm going to that's going to be the first thing that i get done so it's done my foundation shade is caramel in the clinique foundation that i use yeah that is going to be our updated q a if you guys have not subscribed make sure to subscribe make sure to like and comment on this video and of course i'm going to work on commenting back to you guys i love to interact with you guys i love doing little videos like this so you guys can like learn a little bit more about me and kind of connect with me on a different level i love you guys so much and thank you guys for all of the support you guys honestly help me so much more than you know like i love seeing the positive comments i love the support you guys are so sweet and amazing and yeah so we are just continuing to grow this year all of us okay all of us we are all continuing to grow together if you guys need motivation i am you know trying to go on live more on tiktok i hope everyone has a blessed and amazing week stay productive I'll see you guys on our Sunday vlog and have a great day. Hopefully we can do like more like girl chats and stuff like that throughout the week. So we're going to work on that. We're going to see what we can do about it and go from there. But anyway, I'll see you guys on Sunday.